There is not, most of our patients don't have fetal surgery, but there are a few uh, patients who do, and, and the largest number of fetal interventions that we do are for fetal cardiac interventions. And they're done at Brigham and Women's Hospital along with the cardiology team here at Children's. Interventional cardiologists, anesthesiologists, and cardiologists go over to Children's along with myself or one of the other nurse practitioners, and we um, do the procedure at Brigham and Women's on the fetus around somewhere between 20 and 25 weeks usually. And use the most common procedure we do is to dilate the aortic valve with a balloon. Um, and the mother is asleep, the fetus is also given anesthesia. And if that is successful in a small group of those patients, uh, they will not develop hypoplastic left heart syndrome um, and still have a four-chambered heart um, after birth. Um, it won't be a normal heart, but it will be better than um, a heart that needs to have a three-stage surgery um, right after birth. So that is a, a fascinating part of what we do is, is involve involvement in cardiac interventions. There are also exit to ECMO procedures um, that I'm sure others have talked about, but the uh, procedure is to deliver a baby at term partially and then put the baby on bypass or intubate the baby if the baby has an airway um, problem. And still those are rare cases, but as nurses we're very much involved in the coordination of that effort.